What's poppin' Divine Soul? Right on for joining today. I'm TT. If this is your first time coming here, right on for your energy. If you if you happen to um support me, thank you. I appreciate that. Don't forget if you fill in the vibe, join the tribe and click the link in the subscription and show me some love. <laughs> We're gonna get into the message today. We're gonna get into the message today. So I keep hearing in my head, this sounds so elementary, but this is what I keep hearing. <clears throat> if it don't apply, let it fly. That's what I was hearing. So <clears throat> this is before we get into the reading. I mean, before I pull any cards, that's what I'm hearing. If it doesn't apply, don't let it fly. So I feel like, yes, it's cool to take constructive criticism from people, you feel me? But ultimately what matters is what matters is what we think about ourselves you feel me if you want to take someone's uh some the ideas or uh perceptions that they think about you and if they resonate then that's cool you feel me if they don't don't hold on to it let it go and be who you know you are okay 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 let's do the bowl Let's hit a bow. <laughs> Let's hit a bow. I love it. I love it. That felt good. Thank you, angels. Thank you, God. Thank you, Ascended Masters, Archangel Spirit Guys. Thank you. Thank you that we learn how to just utilize the tools that we get in God. But um, ultimately, don't get carried away on the tools. The tools is just an accessory. Feel me? That the real connection, the real guide. Is our inside light. And that light is God. And for us to stay connected to that, to guide us all the time. Thank you for helping us tap into our navigation system and stay tapped in. And that's our connection with God, us. Oogie dokie. Oogie dokie. What's popping? How you feeling? Hope you're feeling peaceful today. But the truth is, every day ain't gonna feel peaceful. It's gonna be some fucking chaos up there now. You feel me? But the thing is, to learn how to keep peace in the chaos in ourselves. You feel me? No matter what's going on around us, let it go. And freaking accepting it and not trying to change it. Thank you, angels. That's the surrender y'all been on my head about. And every day, 
every moment. I learn how to just accept more and more. Thank you, angels. Yes. Ooh. The affirmation for today. I'm actually about to read this whole affirmation list. And I think I want to start making that a daily thing. Because although I know if I when I learn how to be focused on these things will just flow in a better way of doing affirmations and having rituals, but I'm proud of myself for the level I'm at and I accept where I'm at. Thank you. Thank you, angels. We got the mermaids. Re energize, re energize. Oh, Mother Earth is freaking amazing. Mother Earth will help us feel such. A freaking jolt of energy. A nice way to re-energize ourselves is to go in nature, even if it's only for like 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And take a little walk in nature. But not be distracted by our phones, our thoughts, you feel me? Just really taking a walk in nature. And as we walking, we are thanking the trees, thanking the birds, thanking the grass, thanking the earth for, for, for taking anything that makes us feel out of balance and re-energizing us with loving light of God. You feel me? Nature. Water. Water. Water is so amazing with helping us feel re-energized. If we just soak in a tub with some Epsom salt, that is definitely a way I like to clear my energy. So if you're a feeler and you're looking for a way to stay balanced, I use water for shielding myself and shield what shielding is is helping you not feel other people's feelings. Cause most of the time fillers don't even know they fillers. You feel me? When you, <laughs> how many times am I about to say fillers? Oh well. Hey, when you feel a lot, you sometimes don't understand that those ain't always your feelings and that you're empathic. And intuitive and you picking up on your surroundings, people, places, things. You feel me? So it can make you feel overwhelmed and crazy. So um, once you just get awareness of that and then learn how to implement practices or rituals like water, taking shower meditations, thanking the water. Visualizing the water washing anything off of you. Visualizing the water creating an energetic force field around us. In the tub. In your mind. Scanning your body and pushing any, any unexpressed feelings out. Using the water to soak in the light of whatever you speak it to be. So that's a dope way I'm seeing it. And actually just taking some time to yourself away from everything. <clears throat> it's always helpful when we can detach from it. We're supposed to learn how to be in a detached state, period. You feel me? That's, that's our natural, divine selves are supposed to learn how to detach from things. 
So um, just being able to cut yourself off from the outside world, that is a great way to re-energize too. Thank you, Angel. Because I'm 42 years old and I'm just really learning the, about myself. A lot about my life. A lot real fast. And I'm grateful for that new level of consciousness. And I'm grateful that it continuously opens up. Um, thinking back, reflecting back of when I didn't know I was picking up other people's energy. That immobilizes you. It can, it can make you feel depressed. That is what can help trigger it. That's, I ain't going to say help. But that could be a trigger of anxiety. You feel me feeling other people's stuff. And, and when you unaware, or when you have untapped gifts, that can be heavy to deal with. But it's all a lesson, too, because eventually we all come into who we are. We all come into awareness of who we are. And that's when the more upgraded lessons start happening. For real. Thank you for a card from this deck, Angel. Uh, accept love. Accept love. Did I show y'all the re-energized card? I don't know. But there you go. Accept love. So, divine soul. We must. I say must, but. Eventually, we learn that people that hurt us in the past, those are those people are not in other people outside of us. Only if that's all we choose to see and remember, that's what we will keep on uh, manifesting over and over. If we continuously live in a state of feeling wrong. You feel me? And then that leads you to feeling you know what I'm saying? Bitterness. And then that leads you to having a, a wall of protection up. And this wall is so thick that you don't want to let love penetrate it because you're afraid that it's going to be what it is in the past but it's not. And that's why it's important for us just to start learning to love ourselves first because that nips all that distrust in the bud. Because when we love ourselves first, we trust ourselves first and we trust ourselves to give new chances and new opportunities to new people, you feel me? So that we can let that love in that we really deserve because we already learned how to give it to ourselves. So that's what we're focusing on now. We're focusing on self-love. So we automatically manifesting experiences and people that is going to give us that love that we give ourselves back and just so happen we do cross a vibrational frequency with somebody who don't know how to love us we got the most self-love for ourselves we done set ourselves up so high on this pedestal like not better than nobody but loving yourself better than anybody you feel me? so that we don't allow people to crumb us or you feel me or we we don't even get bitter about it anymore because we know we love ourselves so much we're not gonna drag out some shit that we don't deserve so allow our guards to be down and stay safe in the knowledge of self-love and we don't have to have a big electric electricity we don't need a great big electrical fence around us we never did need that you feel me? All we need is to do is escape in the prison that we was making a prison of ourselves and escape in there and bust open. Bust it open. So 
So you just know, divine soul, you deserve love. You deserve all the love that is trying, that I ain't going to say trying, all the love that is here for you. You deserve it. You deserve it. Accept it. You are love. Why wouldn't love want to find you? You are love. Why wouldn't love want to find you? You feel me? Thank you, angels. Thank you. Okay. You are so amazing. Your heart is such a gift in this world. Your heart is such a gift. Everybody ain't gonna know what to do with a gift, and that's okay. But there is people like you. Love, love, and they here for you. As soon as you as soon as we refocus our awareness to that. Okay. Thank you, Angel. Can we get a card out of this deck, please? Thank you. We love you. We're grateful. So much gratitude for the messages. Um, I'm gonna take them two right there. But it like 10 cards flipped over. But I'm gonna take these. <laughs> so we have have faith in your dreams. Be bold and make the first move. The energy is gaining momentum. So with this have faith in your dreams, is always say faithful, always say hopeful. What did we say earlier in the message? Don't lose sight. Have faith in the desire of your heart. Know that you deserve the desires of your heart. You are worthy for love. You are worthy for support. You are love. You are support. You are worth all those things that you embody. All those experiences, all those people, whatever. You are worthy. So have faith and know. You feel me? You feel me? Be bold and make the first move. So, okay, did they have to get drawn out like that? Yes! Okay. <clears throat> this, I'm feeling this card is something that you've been feeling that you want to do and you just may be unsure about because it's just too much uncertainty and you used to having certainty about how stuff is going to play out because you might be like strategic and you just like to have everything in order if you can. But this, this thing you've been contemplating, this situation you've been contemplating, it, it's just been making you feel unsure. And the intensity of the uncertainty. Hmm. That's the power, like that's the push through to a, a new level of self. Because that's testing the faithful of the desires to your heart. Are you going to be bold enough to do that one thing that is in your heart and, and it make your heart sing, but you don't know how it's going to work out? You don't you don't know if you're going to fail. You don't know you, what's going to me. No, that's the test. That's the test is to jump out with all faith that whatever you put your mind and your heart together to, it will materialize because it's already here it will materialize and we just got to understand it's in divine timing not self timing not divine soul viewer it ain't in your timing it's in divine timing of god all creation universe you feel me not ours so it might be stumbles but those stumbles be learning blocks you feel me 333 three, three on the clock. Thank you, angels. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for synchronicities throughout the day that are so magical that we don't miss them. 
Thank you for the synchronicities that smack us in the face. And we just know we can't even write that off as a coincidence. Even though it ain't no coincidences, it's no second guessing. It be so blunt. Thank you for the blunt guidance. The energy is gaining momentum. You feel me? So I feel like as soon as you hop out here with this bold decision, as soon as you hop out here with this new turnpike of life, it's going to hit you. It's going to be like 50, 11 doors going to open all at one time. And you're just going to have so many options where at one point you was trying to keep control over how is it going to work out? Am I going to be okay? When you take this leap of faith, it's going to hit you so hard, all these doors going to be open. So don't get overwhelmed with having too many choices. And the, the bold decision of hopping out on faith is teaching your heart of what choices to make. So that when all the doors do fly open, you done succeeded that level of learning how to navigate with your heart that you're going to know. You're going to be able to feel which one of these 50, 11 doors really work for you. And then sometimes if we go through a door and that door don't kind of feel good, that's purposeful too. That's purposeful too. Because new levels is a new level of challenge. A heightened, heightened awarenesses bring heightened, heightened challenges in each level. Thank you. So just know that, yes, the energy is gaining momentum, but uh, we, we, everything is working out. Everything works out for us. Everything works out for us. Everything really works out for us. Even if it feel like it don't work out for us, it really do. It really does. It really do. It really does. Both mean the same. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Angel. Thank you for helping us remember the flow. Thank you for helping us remember how to create the magic that we desire to see. Thank you for evidence. Thank you for evidence in our experiences and that we reflect that our lives are so magical and that we right where we want to be. And we and we're grateful for right where we are. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Leap. Fucking leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. <sighs> this is my first time seeing this card. <laughs> and my mind just blows every time, every time I pull out this tool. Thank you, angels. Divination. Every time I use this. Thank you, angels. Thank you, God. I'm really grateful. I'm very, very grateful. I'm very, very, very so freaking grateful. Leap. It's basically what we was just talking about, y'all. This is what we was just talking about. So this is like double confirmation. I just feel a little overwhelmed right now in a good way. I feel very grateful. I feel very directed. I feel very connected. <laughs> I feel protected. I feel divinely guided order. Just, oh my God, it's mind blowing. You go first and the universe will catch you. Whatever you are thinking, idea you see for yourself is yours. No matter what you look like you got, that's going to help you get there. Nothing's helping you get there but, your, but God. It, it's, it's nothing material. It's nothing. It's the God in you making it happen. And all you got to do is do it in your full, confident, self-aware, authentic, 
wholeness. That's it. And when you, when you jump off, you're not going to fall. Look at this card. It's so beautiful. Look at this card. It's so beautiful. She's been standing on the edge so freaking long, man. She she stood there so long, she lost her color. She blended in with the freaking rock on the edge. She was like, forget it. I'm, I can't take no more. I feel like she tried to jump towards the moon. She tried, she tried to jump towards the moon, but she flying. So she really can go wherever she want to go. Okay. Don't forget it. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. Angels, that feel kind of commercial, but that's what I have in my head. <laughs> it is what it is. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, angels, for clear. That's the clear direction. Whatever. Even if you don't got no plan, let the path unfold as it goes. And let your heart guide you along that path. Thank you, angels. Can we get a message from this deck, please? Thank you. Taking care of myself is a radical act of love. So this is this is um focused on our inner man, just us in a whole. Like doing what is the desire in our heart, not holding ourselves back from that. Not having expectations from the world from that. The only expectation is to get out here and live our heart's desires of ourselves. And that's an act of love. It's an act of love to not let, let nothing hold us back. Not let ourselves hold us back because nothing can stop you. You feel me? Nothing can stop you. And everything that we make a monster outside of ourselves is only a manifestation of the monster inside of us. You feel me? It's all us. And it's all meant to make us stronger and more equipped. It has purpose. It has purpose. The love, love is what makes you jump off that edge of freedom. You feel me? Freedom to love yourself. Thank you. We deserve love. To go back to the accept love card. We deserve love. Taking care of yourself. Doing what makes you feel happy. No matter what it looks like to the world. Not even happy all the time. Because we're not going to be happy all the time. Just doing whatever. Whatever. No matter what. Invite help. Invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously. Just say, I am ready. I am finally ready. Pursue me, God. So I feel like this divine flow. Divine flow. Eventually, one desire takes precedence over all others. To follow the tale, the divine flow at all costs. So this is saying, like, no matter how resistant to change we can be, no matter sometimes, no matter... How, how afraid you could be to jump and, and, and practice self-love by doing what you feel called to do in the world and holding yourself back in all uh, that. Eventually, order will come because the universe, God, will create circumstances that really have us on that edge and that edge of freedom and have no choice but to let go. You feel me? So with this invite help, this is like giving me the surrender 
this is like giving me surrender energy. Like you can have towers or you can have you can have towers, you can have chaos, you can have destruction, you can have resistance. Or you can just say, forget it, God. Here I am. It's just what it is. I'm showing up for myself. I'm showing up to the life I command for myself. Because I have power and authority over where I want to see my life go with the way I think and the way I act and the way I show up in the world. So, do we want to jump and jump off the edge of freedom, so to speak? Or do and or do we just want to fly off? Because as soon as we jump, our wings gonna pop out. We're gonna be able to learn how to fly. Thank you, angels. Okay, we're gonna do one more card, and then that's gonna be for the message for the day. Shame, regret, guilt, those are all just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. So, this energy is giving me like, that's the hold back. You feel me? That's the hold back. Being ashamed of stepping out. There's no need to be ashamed. Be confident in all God created us to be. We learn to be confident. We walk in confidence in who God called us to be. And the only person, the only thing that matters is what we feel about that. That's it. Anything that happened in the past where you may have felt like you was wrong or you may have felt like you wronged somebody else, uh, forgive yourself. You deserve forgiveness. We deserve forgiveness. We deserve to be able to forgive ourselves just like we we'll forgive our neighbor if they dog pooped in our grass. You feel me? That's our neighbor. Okay, they got it up. We, forget. we need to forgive ourselves for everything just like we would extend it. We don't We don't need to. It's our, our focus should be forgiving ourselves and letting it go and being free. I feel like it's not a more important time in the world. It ain't a more pivotal time in the world to live our lives and express that in all authenticity. Because that's the one thing that creates the balance. But it's balance going on right now. Everything is purposeful. You feel know I me? Mean? But balance with selves. Balance with selves. And that's our direction, the balance with ourselves and our heart's guidance. Okay, that's it. I'm about to cut this thing off. Right on for tapping in. If this is your first time on here, I appreciate you. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment if it resonates with you. Uh, share the video. Uh, thank you. And follow me on TikTok. At, at Devon. Follow the link tree in the description box. I'll be trying to have all these... Uh, speeches and all this stuff and 